All right. Thanos is him. He is him. that guy. He is. He is him. But the question is, can he be topped? And that's what we're going to discuss today. Will there ever be a villain greater than Thanos in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? I am your host with the most. This is your number one BS guy, Abel, alongside of me tonight. The man in the chair, A. Aaron. How are we doing? I am inevitable. He sure is inevitable. <laughs> this next person is also inevitable. They call him Kalo K, the Mama Wanna God, live from the man cave. It's Leo. All that for a drop of blood. <laughs> <laughs> Spread love is the Brooklyn way, Big Chase. I hope they remember you. Ooh, I know oh. this one's gonna be good, man. Listen, deep in the heart of Texas is Wendeezy. He stole mine. Ah! <laughs> That's my favorite line. Maybe stole mine, so I had to steal somebody else's. That's yeah. my favorite line. All right, well, just like Destiny does and arrives, so have we. We're gonna talk about Thanos. What do we think of him? Can it be topped? Is it even possible? Just based off of where we are. From a Marvel Cinematic Universe perspective, I think we have a video to play while we all kind of talk about this. And I guess while I'm while I'm ranting and raving, I will probably go first. Um, I think eventually, yes. But when that eventually is, that's a great question. Um, you know, we were talking about this earlier today, too, as a group that a lot of people consider Thanos to be... I guess uh, this generation's Darth Vader. So people mm -hmm. put him on a level that big where Thanos, the, the, the lines, the, the action he takes, the, the stakes, it's very, it's very hard to find an actual movie that ends with the villain really winning at the end because in Infinity War, Thanos won. And, um, you know, the question is, can the MCU capture that magic to let another villain win in the way that Thanos won and how it felt. It's a lot. It's a big, it's a big tall order. Um, I, uh, I think that one of the biggest problems here is um, not even so much the character, but the timing. Mm -hmm. People did not see Thanos coming. Um, I, I myself, when they first showed him um, at the end of the Avengers, where he, he turns around, he's like, I'll go do this myself. I actually had to go back myself and go like, is that Thanos? Like, no one saw him coming. Um, and when he showed up, his presence was everything that it needed to be. Uh -huh. um, so for a first time getting, you know, who he was and how he was and the level of just drama involved in trying to defeat him that crossed two mega movies, I think this is where Marvel is suffering because how in the hell do you get bigger than this? Now, for me personally, Galactus could be that guy. Kang could have been that guy. But at this point, I just don't know. I mean, eventually you might get something that big, but I just don't know. Because, again, it's just the timing involved. It's not even the character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I'll piggyback off that. So I just want to reiterate a lot of what Chase said. So three phases. Marvel three phases of this dude, bro, leading up to this, the, these two fights, these movies. He won, he won. Like, say whatever it is, this man won. He beat the Avengers, Drop the <laughs> like, mic. call it what it is. I mean, like, I understand. Like, listen, for to me, this is what drew me into the MCU. I, I tell these guys all the time once a week, I go back and watch the end of Infinity War and Endgame because those movies are so entertaining that they just. I could watch them repeatedly week to week and be just those scenes and be like, yo, Thanos was just like Abel said in the beginning, him. He was that guy, man. He he didn't care who stepped to him. Iron Man, Cap, Thor. He didn't give a shit. He was like, yo, like, you want smoke, fam? I got you. What do you, what do you want? Real quick? Like, I, I put up, I'll put up fists. I got a sword. What you want? I'm here. <laughs> like, whatever. So, like, you know, and to answer the question, do I think that we could get better than him in the MCU? We could. Do I worry that Marvel's not going to do it right? Sure, I certainly do. Because at this point, I've seen nothing to justify that there's going to be a bigger bed that will be written correctly. Like Chase's point, uh, Galactus is a huge big bad, and he could span over multiple, you know, multiple phases the same way that Thanos did. But will Marvel do it that way because of time slots and time crunches and shit like that? I doubt it. 
You know, Kang had the opportunity to be that guy. Multiple phases, multiple movies. Everything happened with Jonathan Majors, unfortunately. Call that is what it is. You know how we feel if you watch our channel about that whole situation. But at the end of the day, that is what it is. Do I think even the MCU could do a Magneto that could be on par with Thanos? Maybe. I don't know if they have time, but they could. You know, but I just, at this point, I have such, I don't know if they'll ever get to this point of like, you know, what this really was impact wise. I think they'll introduce new villains and it'll be okay, but I don't think we'll ever see one as bad, as big, bad, as a big of a bad as Thanos again, personally. So I'll, I'll let Wendeezy and, and, and Leo take it over. But uh, look, I'm going to say this like, <laughs> Surfer, get my boots. <laughs> that is going to slap. Okay? Stop. Stop, stop, stop. It is going to slap. They're going to put it on t shirts. He ain't never it lied. Gonna, it's he ain't be never on lied. T shirts, bro. He ain't never no. lied. No, Galactus does have that potential, but I, I really think that where they're going to get their meat and potatoes is if they do like a really good Doom. Yep. Like, I agree. Doom would be the guy that I think could get to ah, this. Doom. Thank you. Doom. Yes. Thank you. This Sorry. could, he, he can do it, but they have to give you. Like they got, they have to rinse and repeat. Like you have to, you can't just throw Doom out there and be like, "Ha ha, Doom, let very let's go." No, you can't. You got to give him them little bits and pieces, those little sneaky bits, of where he's being a puppet master and pulling strings and setting people out, like a whole bunch of other, you know, smaller, not smaller villains, but some other villains that'd be like, "Whoa!" But it's Doom all along. Like mm-hmm. it could happen. Like but when you think about. Like, just the sheer carnage that this man caused. Like, like on surreal, like, even before he got to Earth, man, the dude wiped out nowhere. Like, he killed them all. Yeah. Yeah. Then he had people believing that they that they, they, they were safe and they were good. And then he was mm-hmm. like, no. <laughs> Turning people into silly strings and, and, mm-hmm. and people's guns is blowing bubbles. <laughs> like, my man was really enjoying his life. That right there was total disrespect what he did to Vision. He was like, "Give me my joint." <laughs> yeah, I need my, I need that. And he right just he tossed me. him. He just went mm. and just dropped him like a, like a sack, just whatever your Walmart bag. All right, bounce, get out of here, son. But I, think- I would tell you, this guy, I don't know, it's going to be hard to top him. But if they mm-hmm. do it right, Doctor Doom will be my guy. I like that take. I love that take. Actually, I agree with I Doom. Agree. It could be, could be. Leo, Mr. Comic Book himself. What you got, bro? Mr. What you Comic got? Book. <laughs> uh, this is a couple other that could take his so-called role. But the problem is, is that having that buildup. Mm-hmm. Do Marvel fans have their patience? Agreed. That's the, that's the question to ask. Do you have the patience to take the time to enjoy because... It was nine years for him for for the build up for Thanos. Um, yep. And you had tons of great movies in between. Mm-hmm. Nobody's gonna lie that. Nope. The thing is, is that since Phase Four and it's been has taken a dip, and you don't know where is Marvel gonna head. But we have a good sign that we might gonna get uh, Mephisto. That's also a good one. Mm-hmm. And we also have a good sign since we're going down the X-Men role, but we're not going to get that now. We're going to get that a little bit later. So we have, have the Sinister. We also have Apoc- Apocalypse. Apocalypse. So if you really want to do, you also have the Celestials. You also have uh, Death. You can bring her story more into it. But the thing is, is that if it's it's the character buildup. Yeah. If we don't have the character build up, because nobody's taking nothing away from Thanos. I'm sorry. It's it's his character build up was done right, mm-hmm. hands down. And the thing is, is building up his character, uh, building up the character, or building up another supervillain like Galactus. And they're saying that in Fantastic Four, you're gonna get Galactus in the first movie. That's the wrong move for Marvel mm-hmm. if they do that. But we're going back to the '60s in in Fantastic Four, so we don't know since we're getting an older team. So we don't know how how Galactus is going to be faced because if Silver Surfer is going to be back in that movie and he sends him away like he did the last time, 
that gives you the character buildup that you need for Galactus to come back. Hmm. As long as he's but not you, a cloud in the sky. <laughs> yeah, as long as he's not a cloud in the sky. Get but my you boots. also you also have you could also have a transition of you don't need a nine year a nine um, nine years of building up a, of a super villain. You could do it in four to five movies. Mm-hmm. But the movies have yeah. to hit. They gotta hit. Mm-hmm. They have to. Hit. That's exactly. no. There's no way that you can say you can recreate this, even without the main, even without the characters that were in this. It was supposed to be in this movie. They didn't have the licensing to, but they did it right. Mm-hmm. You didn't miss the characters that weren't there. Right. I mean, I did. But okay. Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. Come on, mm-hmm. as, as a regular person, yeah, comic nerd, yeah, I did miss them, but it didn't feel like you missed them in this movie because it was so good. And the acting was on point. The editing was on point. And it's 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 hard to say with where Marvel is thinking about going. Is figuring out okay, we're getting these nit these all these other teams. Are we gonna go with teams now? Or are we gonna go with series of teams? Midnight Suns, uh, New uh, Young Avengers, X Men, uh, yeah, X Men, Fantastic Four. So are we going into the team phase? Because if you're gonna make if you're gonna make Secret Wars slap, yep, you're talking about Celestials and Internals. I didn't even think about the Beyonder either. And the Beyonder. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. um, you, know, you, you, hey, you need you need time to build to build these yeah. big bads. You need time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you, and and I think that was the importance of of Kang originally because we understood that we right. were gonna probably see Kang across four or five movies before we came to any type of culmination and whatnot. Yeah. Um, and, and that's my thing with Doom. It's like Doom could definitely be that guy, but at this point you have to start going to where Doom also transforms into something bigger than just an earthly villain. He has to, at that point, go cosmic himself. Um you know the the story of of him and Galactus and and like you 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 have to go there, and uh-huh. um, my concern is that I don't know that Marvel actually has the time and the schedule to do this thing the way that it needs to be done. I think that they have kind of squandered um, some time in these last couple of phases. Um, you know, just putting out stuff that did not slap it did not get the audience i always thought it was genius that they connected the shows on disney plus with the movies thought that was that was great but the execution of it fell short in a lot of ways and in a lot of shows and that you can't get back and the the, the budgeting the thing is with the budgeting they should have left disney plus for origin (laughs) stories or special events agreed Mm-hmm. They should they should just leave it exactly the way with uh, special presentations and origin stories. Mm-hmm. That way, when you start bringing these characters into the big screen, you already know these characters. Mm-hmm. If you want to learn about the other uh, characters, oh, Disney Plus has okay their origin stories, like they're doing with Daredevil: Born Again. That's why they're giving them so many so many things. That's why they did with this whole thing with Echo because she's going to play a bigger role. And then the whole thing with the starting trying to start up the Young Avengers, but that. Kind of fell short because of all the all all the shit that was going on with it, and also you have uh, Midnight Suns, which is a great fucking story that expands from the X Men to mutants to Avengers to everything else. So it's it it's it's it for me it's a toss up because we don't know where Marvel's going to go. Mm-hmm. 